so this year at Atlas, we're kind of thinking through what we wanted to do for our nonprofit effort. Diane and I, she's our director of culture and engagement, we're sort of um, discussing how there's so much food insecurity right now. So we knew we wanted to do a food drive. Somewhere along the way, Diane came up with the idea of doing um, a canned food drive, but do, turning it into a sculpture challenge. It's something that we've kind of we've seen some other companies do, and so we thought this will be kind of a fun way to include everyone. So we took our internal employees and divided them up into six teams, and our sales managers were just fantastic. They headed up um, each team, and then we kind of sent the rules out. And the deal was, you collect as many cans as you can or you want to, come up with an idea of a sculpture that you want to make. It can literally be anything. And then we got to talking about, I said, at one point I emailed Diane and I said, I wish we had a celebrity judge. I said, do you know any celebrities? I, said, I don't know any. And she wrote back and she said, we do know a Kansas City Royal. So that was kind of fun. One of our recruiters, Sydney Lamberty, um, her fiance uh, is a shortstop for the Kansas City Royals, Mickey Lopez. So we kind of reached out to him and said, any chance you would judge our contest? And, and he was happy to do it. So that kind of became a really fun element and so we saw some teams like one team made a amazing um, stadium and with with lights it was just incredible and so another team did the the Kansas City Royals logo um, another team did SpongeBob SquarePants because that's something that he really likes um, another team did just this amazing boat with sushi complete with chopsticks I mean it was just absolutely incredible and one of the things I loved about their team is that they put together this like six page document detailing every section of what they were going to do, complete with like a color chart so that when they went shopping they would know what color cans to look for. So that was just incredible. Um, and then, oh, the corn, one, one team did a corn stock. I mean, and it was just, it was absolutely just incredible and I, I hadn't seen that coming together so it was so fun to come into work and just see this <laughs> this huge corn stock. And another team did the American flag and so that was really fun to see. It was really tall and they even had the flag stand and so there was just something for everyone. The coolest thing of all was just to see the, the sense of community and we just have the most generous, um, amazing employees and they just came together and donated so many cans and oh the creativity, just the things that they did were pretty cool. So we ended up donating, we ended up getting over 3,500 cans, which is just incredible. So it was a really, a really fun experience and it was fun to see how everyone came together. And even at the end when it was time to tear down the sculptures, take them apart and get them to the food bank, it was just amazing the, the, the way everybody worked together. So all in all, it was just a great experience.